Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that red subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage that TV and radio refuse to cover. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fun, it's free, and it's safe for the environment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. I ran varsity track as a freshman, but you know, unfortunately COVID happened, so my season got cut short. So, you know, I started off last year, you know, came out pretty strong. Um, you know, next the next year, which is this year, just brought me brought me uh, happiness, you know, just came ready to work. You run a lot of those long distance races. How do you have kind of prepped yourself for those long distance races where you're not just running it out and you run out of gas early? How do you kind of, uh, I guess, pace yourself? So in the 200, it's really, I just sprint the whole way. In the 400, I really just, you know, pace myself on the back stretch, and then, um, you know, just give it all I got the last 200, and then, you know, everybody start dying out, so that's why I start catching everybody. People know about Judson for football, all the state championships, and of course the basketball's been well, but some people forget that girls track and field went back to back as a team in 14 and 15, and, and the Judson boys finished runner-up, uh, what, three, four years ago. How do y'all kind of keep Judson track on the map, let people know, hey, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're just as good as the others? Um, by doing what we're doing right now, um, we have two, of our two out of the three of our relays going to state, being area champs, being regional champs. Um, you know, try to make a, a statement at state, just like we did last year, but we came a little short, but this year we're definitely coming back to make a statement. How do you adjust to that uh, going up to uh, going up to Austin? It's, it's obvious, it's usually hot, it's sunny, sometimes you'll deal with weather, it's one of those things where it's kind of hurry up and wait. How do you deal with that atmosphere of, of, all, of all of it? Um, it was actually very different from the way it was last year. It wasn't nowhere to sit, so you know, just looking up in the stands before I run, there was a lot of people up there just cheering, doing what they do. So, you know, it's, it's really no way to prepare. You just go out there and give it all you got, do what you can do. My name is DeMarco Escobar, and I qualified for the 4x200 meter relay, the 400 meter relay. I mean, yeah, the 4x400 meter relay and the 400. Boy, that's just kind of tough. How do you run that many distance races? Just because it's like you're not just qualifying for one, you qualify for three, and that can really kind of wear you out in the heat. Uh, you know, it's just you got to have faith in your training and what you do uh, outside of the meet. I uh, just have faith in what I've been practicing in, and I know that uh, I put in enough work to compete in the events that I'm doing. Everybody does their part, does their, uh, does their half that they got to do, and we just show up when it's time. What is the keys, or what are some of the keys to being able to train, being able to prepare for all these long distance events, especially because I think you're running two of them back to back. Oh yeah, I'm running the four by 200 and the 400, like 10 minutes apart, 15 minutes apart. Uh, <clears throat> I just try to make sure that I'm getting the right amount of work in uh, at practice. I got to eat right, get enough sleep. It's all about everything in preparation for the races. This will be the first time in three years that we've had a normal track and field meet with uh, without the, vi the virus canceling two years ago. Last year there were restrictions. How do you kind of get back into that regular feel of what it's going to be like with the heat, humidity, the crowd, potential rain, which always seems to happen. How do you kind of get back into that group? Uh, you know, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of a process to get back into, but in the moment you just got to uh, prepare and just seize the moment you know you only get one chance only one time to run your race you got to take advantage of it track and field is probably the most individualized team sport just because you don't qualify as a team you qualify as individuals Anthony qualified for a few events you got relays how does this team work together knowing that if you want to win a team title or get on the podium it's not just about one or two guys it's about everybody having to do their part uh, yeah uh, you just I know that when we train together, we all push each other to get better, so I have faith in one another for our single events and also our relays, so when it's time to shine, uh, I know my teammates will put down just like I will.